moving up through the back. He's been looking rapid all weekend. We got cars into the ground with the two brothers into the dive by side to Sam Young Yan. What an impressive driver he is. He's come from the world of MX5 racing and uh, he's a driver who's looking for sponsorship. Hence the sign on the door. And we dearly love to do a full season, but he goes wide and in turn nine he goes the wrong side of the coast.
by uh, anybody, but he's kept out of trouble. And uh, he rejoins, but he is last but one. The only drop behind him is Peter Ronson, uh, who is in 25th place. But Sasha Norden avoided any contact uh, with any cars when he was pointing in the wrong direction. So he lives to fight another day on that front. And uh, there is where Jill Magnus dropped back after such a good qualifying session. He went deep into the gravel did the Slutsky brothers and uh, they all drop positions of course when there's gravel on the tyres you haven't got the grip it takes a few corners also to clean them up now challenges the position further back and that is the aforementioned Jill Magnus challenging as he moves up the hill and it was uh, Robin Nutson that he moved to the inside of so taking that position back again but really good to have Jill Magnus on the grid for this event in the car that we have seen in the hands of Benjamin Packer and Bertrand Baguette. So that is the August by NGT car. Challenges and further back, Jamie Ford coming under pressure. The Stutsky brothers, one in front and one behind. Also there is the number 13 car of Juan Vignes involved in that fight. He's fending off Aaron Mason in number eight. So the race settling down a bit now. What a dramatic start that was. Glenn Van Parijs leads the way. Robert Dehaan in second. Horst Felix Valbermeyer now positioned again. Juan, uh, the, uh, Jamie Foot, I beg your pardon, under pressure. Once again, overtaken by Artem Slutsky in the 22 car. And to turn 10. Now it looks like Sandy Younger peeling off into the pit lane. There was a lot of rubbing going on in that race. And uh, a number of cars may be picking up some damage. We look down from turn one. And uh, the uh, red car that's coming in to the pits is, uh, I believe that's Sandy Younger. Yes, it is into the pits. So clearly a problem for him. And he brings the car in to retirement. Looking down the hill from turn three. It is a steep climb up towards turn three. And a good overtaking opportunity as they come along. You can see the kick of turn two in the background, which the drivers take flat out. So there is Sammy Younger from Red Ant Racing into the pits. He's not going to be earning any points today. The incident involving car 93, Jamie Fogg, is under investigation. But what can Jill Magnus do from back there? There's uh, Horst Felix Felbermeyer. We just saw Glenn Van Parijs going through. And there is uh, Sam Yongian and Etienne Pernes running side by side. So Sam Yongian, what an impressive driver he is. He's come from the world of MX5 racing and uh, he is making his debut in Porsche racing this weekend and has turned so many heads. He's a driver who's looking for sponsorship, hence the sign on the door and would dearly love to do a full season. But he goes wide and in turn nine he goes the wrong side of the cones and uh, he loses that position. And it is Etchim Brunes who goes through and continues in fifth place. And now Sam Yongyang drops back and into the clutches of Dirk Schuten who is moving forward in the number 57 car. You can see how hard he's pushing there. But such a good qualifying session from here. And uh, has been towards the top of the timing sheet since from the moment he sat in that car. Also in the background, Ariel Levy. He's in eighth place and closing in on that battle in front. So the silver car is Etchim Brunes. That's the number 75. Sam Yongyang in the number 11 multi-coloured car uh, in sixth place and then it's Dirk Schuten and Ariel Levy the driver from Israel who took his debut win in the Porsche Grand Prix Ben Lux back at Zandvoort now looks to the inside and Dirk Schuten shoots and doesn't really put up too much of a fight and Ariel Levy goes through but now Schuten fights back running side by side through turns four, five, six and seven they run side by side Dirk Schuten on the outside Ariel Levy has the faster line on the inside though. He tries to give the squeeze to shoot and finally the position is through. That is seventh place to Ariel Levy. He now sits after Sam Yongya and the uh, multicolored car ahead of him. Uh, but uh, Ariel Levy, driver who was very disappointed with his qualifying session, he uh, was uh, found a, uh, a yellow flag at the time when he wanted to put in his hot lap and uh, felt as though he had been compromised. So having to fight back through the pack and that's exactly what he's doing. There is our race leader Glenn Van Parijs, eight tenths of a second ahead of Robert Dehaan, our championship leader Horst Felix Feldmeier in third place and Flick Schuring and uh, it is Zakhar Slutsky and his brother who are fighting each other, Artem Slutsky the cards are 
So Artem, who goes through to take the position away, but Zakhal now fighting back, and they run absolutely side by side. This is for 13th place in the race. So Zakhal Slutsky in car two, and uh, it is uh, the uh, Artem Slutsky in 22. Brilliant stuff. It's advantage car two at the moment. And, uh,
one bit, yes. And there it is.
for Sasha Norden. Still behind car seven at the moment. In 17th place overall, but this is for um, a position in the Pro Am podium standings at the end. Car seven, Didier Gloria in the Pro Ams for Speed Lover. Fending off Sasha Norden. Car seven in 16th place. Sasha Norden just behind him.
just needs to do. Turns four, five, six, seven.